What's going on guys, welcome to Tempo TV. Today we are doing a little bit different. I'm going to be teaching you how to use Fraps and Audacity to get the best of your recordings for Minecraft, uh, World of Warcraft, Daisy, all of those games. So first what you want to do is open up Google Chrome, go to the Fraps homepage, then purchase Fraps. I'm not too sure how much it is, uh, $37 which is about £20, I think. Um, so once you've purchased it, go to the members area and log in with your username or email and password. You'll then get a download link. Uh, once you've downloaded it, you just need to install it. And after installing it, you want to open up Fraps. So you can feel free to pause any time in this video. So open up Fraps and you'll get a box like this. Uh, in the general tab, you can leave it all apart from Make sure monitor arrow desktop is off unless you want to record your desktop. Uh, go to FPS and you can choose where you want your frames, your fr FPS overlay to be. So mine is in top right corner, it just helps you to know that you're recording. Uh, then this is an important tab, this is the movies tab. So in this one you want to choose where you want to save your files, so mine is in G, Lee, Fold, uh, G Lee videos, that's where all my videos are saved to. G is a separate drive, it's got like three terabytes of space. Then choose your hotkey. I've chosen minus num sub because a lot of games don't really use that key. Um, then video capture settings, change the FPS to 29.97. Uh, leave the loop buffer length as 30 and uncheck split movie every four gigabytes because that will make it a pain in the ass to edit. Uh, next you want to go to Record Win 7 Sound, yep, check that, multi-channel as well, Record External Input, set it at, it'll be your default microphone, um, if it's not showing your default microphone, you want to go into Recording Devices, find your microphone that's there, so Blue Yeti, and just click uh, Set as Default Device, but mine's already set so I'm not going to do that. So once that's down there, it will look like this, or similar. So now you want to open up your program, which I'm going to use Minecraft just as an example. So once you're into Minecraft, it will look similar, apart from you'll get this little yellow frames per second text up here, which can be anywhere, depending on where you've chose your overlay to be. Mine's up here. So once you've got your program on and you're all ready to record, you simply just press your hotkey, and it will change it to red writing. You see there? It's red, that means you're recording. Um, so record, do what you want, whatever you was going to do, and then once you're finished, just press the hotkey again, so num sub. Then that will finish, it'll go back to yellow, and if you go to the, the folder where you recorded to, which would be videos for me, see here, this is the recording. So you can probably hear me again. Change it to red writing, you see there? It's red, that means you're recording. So that was probably a bit weird, a bit confusing, um, hearing my voice again. But basically, that's recorded. That's all done. But I wouldn't recommend using Audacity for recording your voice at all. Uh, simply because you don't have the freedom of editing your voice. So what you want to do is get another program, which is Audacity. Type in Audacity into Google, and it'll be this one, Audacity SourceForge. So this is an open source program, which is compatible with like uh, Mac and Linux, maybe? I'm not too sure. Yep, Linux. Uh, so download this. You get to this page, it'll come up automatically. Download it to your downloads or whatever. Um, so once you've saved that, you want to install it. Uh, once you've installed it, open it up, and it will look like this. So here you want to go into edit then preferences from preferences you want to go to keyboard and then category transport and as you see here there's the record hotkey what you want to do is set the hotkey to the same as your fraps so this will make sure when you press the hotkey both will record at the same time uh, once you set the hotkey on fraps you want uh, audacity you want to go back to fraps then choose only capture while pushing and choose whatever you want. I've chose non-decibel 
because it's not a very common button. Then open up your programs again, so Minecraft. Right, so once you've opened your program, Minecraft, you want to go back into the Audacity tab, then click your hotkey. This will record for apps and Audacity at the same time. So tap your uh, hotkey. So you'll get these um, squiggly lines, which is basically the uh, your voice. It's your uh, amplitude of your voice. And as you see there, your fraps is recording as well. So to make sure these are synced up, you just want to push your only capture while pushing button and then make a loud noise, which will make a big spike in your audio. So just push it and go <laughs> clap. It will make a loud spike, which you will easily see in your editing. Um, so once you've recorded that, simply push the button again to stop. And this may not stop, so just press the stop button. Then once you've recorded that, you can simply just go into your video editor, which will be Movie Maker or Sony Vegas or Premiere Pro, and then look for those audio spikes and sync them together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, hopefully it's a lot better than my last one. Uh, it should be a lot better quality at least. Um, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!